All right, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. So we're going back in time a little bit onto my old account. And um, we've played about five or six battles in the T95 guys. And a um, couple games were really bad. A couple games were really good. But I wanted to bring you guys some different stuff. And um, I haven't logged into this account in, I, I want to say, almost two years. So the two tanks that I wanted to showcase here are the T95 and the T49 guys. These were the two tanks that I really worked up to and were my favorite tanks to play in World of Tanks. So in regards to the T95 guys, um, the T95 is my favorite tank in real life. I love the T95. Um, it's really America's only super heavy tank. They made like two of them and they restored one of them. It's on YouTube, by the way. You can actually take a look at... Um, at a couple of their videos on restoring the T95 and one of the ladies that works in restoring these tanks or helping restore them I guess but also showcasing them and stuff she's actually a World of Tanks streamer as well she doesn't do YouTube but I think she does Twitch or something like that her name is Sophie Lane or Lynn or something like that hope I'm not butchering her name but I believe her name in real life is Sophie. But you could see her, um, you know, in all these videos on YouTube. Like I said, she doesn't do World of Tanks videos on YouTube, but she does like all this real life stuff with World of Tanks, um, World of Tanks with tanks um, in real life. And it's just it, her videos are incredible, guys. Um, she has so many different um, tanks, like the, the Russian tanks, the the American tanks. Like um, I know there's uh, the STRV 103. I believe she has a video of, and it like going up and down and displaying its. Um, suspension system so you know definitely check out her um her videos guys if you get the chance um so how do we have this thing set up guys uh we have rammer turbo vents vent purge we're running rations um on the crew we have like you know on the driver and the gunner we have the thing to help dispersion brother in arms recon situational awareness my crew was stacked before i even relogged onto this account again guys after like two years and we have Gianluigi Buffon, by the way, which was, he was an award for playing the soccer um, in 2018 for the World Cup. Buffon, in case you didn't know, is an Italian goalkeeper, one of the best in the world, guys. Arguably the best goalkeeper in the world. Um, so he was the award, one of the awards for doing, participating in that and getting, you know, a bunch of experience with that. So, what else about this tank, guys? Um, 305 hull armor. The, the armor, the front armor on this tank, guys, is insane. The problem with this tank is just its turn speed is really slow and its overall mobility is just, it's just really slow, guys. That's the only problem with this tank. Other than that, the gun is pretty accurate. The concealment isn't even that bad. The view range is fine. We're not even running optics and it's almost maxed out. Um, you know, the, the, the aiming time is okay. Like, everything else about this tank is decent, guys. It's fine. It's just that a lot of people don't like this tank because of its mobility. And, um, you know, it's not very versatile, if that's the word I could put to it. You know, it's, it's very tough to carry games in this tank and stuff like that. Um, just because it has no mobility. So... Look, guys, I think we t we touched on this tank quite a bit. We talked about it in real life. We talked about my crew, you know, how I have this thing set up and stuff, its statistics. And um, we're going to go ahead and jump into the battles, guys. So let's see what we can do. And um, again, guys, this was one of my favorite tanks. I have hundreds and hundreds of battles in this tank, um, but I haven't played it in quite some time. I played it like once on my dad's account a couple weeks ago, but I haven't played it in a while. So let's hope we're not you know, too rusty. Um, being that this is my favorite tank, guys, I actually have a um, little model tank of this thing. I'm assuming you can see that pretty well on the camera there. So here it is. Camera's getting a little laggy as this is loading up. There we go. And um, yeah, guys, so that's it there. And, uh, you know, I, I just love this tank, guys. I'm not one of those people that goes out and buys like model tanks and all those little gadgets and stuff. Um, this is like one of the only little things I have for video games. You know, I'm not like one of those people, but, you know, more power to people that have like all those collectibles, you know, more power to them. I mean, you know, I've, I've seen some people have the wildest collections. So, um, but anyway, guys, that's how much I want to show you that I just love this tank. I mean, this is my favorite tank in real life. And, um, you know, I don't know if I mentioned, I think they had two of them 
And again, if you want to see the restoration video on it in real life, check it out on YouTube. It was recent. It was like tw early 2021, I believe. And, um, you know, uh, I don't think this tank ever really saw combat, but it's just, it's just such a beast of a tank, guys. America's super heavy tank, and, I mean, it's just a monster. So let's cut the camera off. Hopefully we'll get into some good battles, guys. You know, I tried recording earlier on. Um, I started recording. And I just felt like I needed to warm up a little bit. So I took a few games. I, I turned off the record, you know, did about four or five battles in it. And um, I think I'm kind of, you know, ready to go now. So I'll raise our gun to this guy. And again, guys, you know, to talk about starting over in this tank. Here we go. We got Progetto here. Going to take a shot into him. Pull back. To talk about starting over in World of Tanks, guys, I know people hate rerolls. They, you know, people might wonder why I rerolled in this tank. And um, the reason for it, guys, is because I wanted to see my true potential in World of Tanks. I wanted to see how good I truly was. And, you know, I, that's why I rerolled. I don't, I didn't do it for W and 8 like some people do. We're going to just hold here because this 705 has a really good angle. Um, we're going to poke out and see if I can possibly get a shot to this guy. He knows how to play this tank, guys, for sure. I mean, there's no denying that. So we're going to load some HE, guys, and just smack it into the side of this guy. Um, but yeah, I wanted to see my true potential, guys, and I don't try to pad my W Nate in my new account. I wanted a better name, too, for YouTube. Whirls is much easier than Whirlybird1994. My dad is Whirlybird1964, so that's why we did that. But, um, but yeah, guys, I mean... Honestly, that's why I re-rolled. I wanted to see how good I could, I, I truly was, and um, you know, wanted wanted a name change, and um, you know, uh, just to start over. It's kind of fun in a way, so that's why I did. Uh, you know, I I kind of started over in World of Tanks, and um, that's why I you know rarely ever play on this old account but you know i wanted to bring you guys the t95 just because it's my favorite tank you know of all time and you know i did have a video way you know a long time ago probably over a year ago on my account but you know i wanted to bring to you guys you know the games i do now with my camera and all and you know playing actually live and stuff so so we're gonna load gold again guys and this is this is kind of a tough situation we're in here you know with this tank, guys, you really don't want to be, you know, trying to um, do too much at once, so to speak. You know, you don't want to be just driving out to the middle of the open and stuff. you got to be kind of careful on this thing. All right, Luva's going to bounce our shell. I'm just going to do this in case he tries to hit my Capola. This is something you could do. You raise your gun, guys, in front of the Capola. I like to do this. There we go. Get a shot into him. I'm amazed this guy is still sitting here. I'm smacking him in the face, guys. But he's still here. Probably a Capola shot, maybe? I'm not sure. Lower plate, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it. IS-3 is behind us. I don't want to turn yet. Here's a T-28. We still have gold loaded, guys, but I'm not ashamed of it. But yeah, to finally go back to, to talking about, you know, creating a new account, guys. Like, when I play my light tanks, there's people that like to, you know, pad damage in it. I play them to do spotting damage, guys. You know, like... I hate how people think with rerolls. It's like, uh, you know, a thing where you're trying to. Um, I think we're going to turn around now, guys. It's like a thing where you're trying to uh, pad your W and eight, but I don't do that, guys. I think this is our best bet scenario.
Yeah, and this is how you're playing this tank, guys. You gotta be like really aware of what's around you, and there's just nothing I could really do in this situation, because there's tanks all over the place. This way. Shar is probably going to kill us here. All right. So we did 5,202 damage, guys, 112 assist. I can't ask for much more than that. In this tank, I average, I think, a little under 2,000 damage, on this account anyway. But um, the thing is, you know, I played this tank, and I was kind of bad at it at first, and then I continued to get better and better and better. Let's watch this waffle get wrecked. LTTB. One more shot. <laughs> Uh, but, um, yeah, guys, I was really bad in this tank at first, and then I got better and better at it, and it started becoming one of my favorite tanks as I was, you know, I two-marked it, and I was just doing so well in it, and, um, you know, it was just such a treat to play. I loved playing the T95, guys. I don't know how many battles I have in it. We'll check after this game, but, um, but yeah, guys, I love, love, love this tank, and um, this is one of the better games probably one of the best games i've had in it overall damage wise um you know i've done like seven thousand damage in one battle i think i've i think i've had a couple six thousand games but like overall i would say this is like a pretty damn good game to start off guys um and really what you're doing in this tank in situations like that is you're just trying not to get not to have someone get your backside so you saw how i was kind of maneuvering all around there um just trying to find the best path to not having someone you know be behind me and i think we did really well there guys you can see people trying to like run away from you and stuff because the t95 is a freaking scary tank guys like i said um so 5202 damage guys i mean look at this team we're definitely top by damage we're top by experience and it looks like we got our what was that top gun or high caliber high caliber and um I was going to say, I don't think we even got a kill. Yeah, we didn't get any kills, guys. Um, but we did a massive amount of damage. We're, we have 10 days of premium, by the way, because um, I logged back into this account after so long. And that's pretty good, guys. So I have 804 battles in this tank. We're looking at 1938 damage and 50% win rate. And like I said, guys, I had this tank from years and years ago. So this is just an average player, you know, playing this tank, kind of. That's what the statistics show. Um, and again, this is why I wanted to create another account because I want to know what my true stats are per every tank that I now, um, play as opposed to some, like, I mean, I average, I think now in the AMX ELC, like 400 damage. And I think my, my win rate is like high 50%, something like that. And you can see here, we are averaging 199 damage and I've played 500 battles in this tank and I'll just never know how, you know, good I truly am in the tank. Um, you know, if I don't re-roll and create another account, guys, because, you know, when you play these vehicles and you have no idea what you're doing, you know, like I've one marked it and my average assist damage is only 344. I think it's like 800 or something like that. or I don't know, something like that, my other account. So that's why I wanted to do it, guys. It's nothing about, you know, trying to um, uh, pad W and 8 per se, you know. Uh, on some tanks, I might try to do that, but, you know, I really, really, really um, can't emphasize that enough, guys, that I just wanted to kind of have a clean slate and start World of Tanks again from, you know, the mindset that I actually know what I'm doing this time around. So, um, you know, don't don't hate rerolls, guys, unless they're specifically trying to pad W and 8, you know. Some people just want to know their true potential, I guess, so... But yeah, guys, you saw we had like 800 battles in this thing, so, you know, quite a, uh, quite a big number of battles, and, um, uh, that gives you an idea of kind of how much I've played this tank, so, 
you know, I've 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 played quite a few battles in this tank, so I like to say I know what I'm doing uh, in the vehicle. And um, maybe on my new account someday I'll get it again, guys, and I'll try and three market, or maybe I'll just try and three market on this account since I already have it. But I just rarely ever play on this account. You know, I have no coin left, no gold, so. So we're going to go to the uh, one line, guys, and something to keep in mind with this vehicle, guys, is that you have to get yourself into positions to basically hold the flank from the start of the game. You have to think about everything ahead of time, because even with a turbo and the updates on this vehicle, doing 22 kilometers an hour is not going to get you anywhere um, at any good rate. So you really have to think ahead about where you want to put yourself and, you know, you have to have really good map awareness and look at what you think is going to happen. You know, look at the map and just and just understand, you know, what might happen. You might lose a flank or something, so position yourself accordingly to take care of that. So we're going to go to this building. I'm just kind of, um, you know, it's not like I go to this building all the time, guys, when I used to play this thing. I'm just kind of trying to find a decent spot here. Okay, we'll get a shot to the VK. And um, the alpha damage on this thing, uh, thing, guys, is nasty. And that's another reason why I really like it, so. But yeah, guys, you really have to position yourself um, very well in this tank. So as soon as you see something that you might lose a flank or something, you want to position yourself, to, you know, in the best position possible to deal with that um, situation. Because this tank, the best way I can describe it, guys, is it is a flank holder. You know, I mean, it's it's a nightmare to try and deal with these tanks. So they're very very good at defending a flank and holding a flank. And patience is required, guys, because in this tank, we do not want to press this line because then we're going to have to deal with the people that are here. So you got to be really cautious about it. You know, we have an FV4005 who still isn't spotted. He could be sitting back here or something. You never know. So in reality, okay, he is right here because someone just pinged him. In reality, this thing can basically one-shot us. So we got to be very, very cautious about that. I didn't realize he was actually poked around the corner there. I thought someone else had spotted him from, like, the other side or something. Shows how much I'm paying attention, guys. There we go. Clean up the VK, and now we're definitely... Wow, are we still not spotted from that, guys? Is my sixth sense working? Did I miss it or something? What's going on here? I guess just bush mechanics are 100%. I mean, he was still behind that bush, so... And chances are likely we're going to lose this battle, guys. So what I'm going to start doing is I don't want to get spotted. So maybe we can do something like this. Hopefully the FV doesn't whack me here. Okay. I want to move over to this building, guys, and I'm going to tell you why. 
If we lose... Okay, here comes the EBR. Looks like we hit his wheel. If we lose, you know, this flank, guys, I want to be in a position where I can back myself up against this rock wall, you know, just in case, you know, kind of as a last stand, but I want this building as support as well so that we can kind of go like this and we can use this building and it's going to be much harder for people to, like, come around this way and flank us. You know, because if we were over here, it's much easier for them to get behind us. So that's what I mean about just kind of planning out what's going to happen. Like, it's a three to nine, guys. We're going to lose this. So I plan it out ahead of time. And this also means the FV kind of has to move over a little bit from where he is now to get a shot on us. So... I mean, you just have to be patient, guys, you know? Like, uh, I know it kind of makes it kind of looks like I'm letting my team die here, but there's really nothing I can do at this point. You know, you can't just run out in a T95. It doesn't work that way. You know, you will get absolutely obliterated, unfortunately, and um, that's just the way it, things look like in this tank, you know? So we're going to kind of sit here, wait to see if someone's, you know, going to gonna press this. And now we're spotted here. Looks like Yudez is trying to get a shot into us. People are trying to get shots into us. We're going to move, have my finger on the repair kit, and here's FE405. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, we weren't able to get one last shot here. Doesn't look like it. I'm trying to turn, trying to turn. But Progetto's behind us, and that's the game. So, look, guys, our team got obliterated here. I would have liked to get one more shot off. Maybe I should have just stayed in this little corner. But at this point, I mean, like, the game is easily over. It's not like I can do anything to carry the game. I mean, this game was a raffle stomp. So, unfortunately, guys, it is what it is. And, um, you know, that's the game. So, we did 1,510 damage. And, I mean, honestly, we were still, like... We were third by damage and third by experience. So, you know, if that kind of tells you how this team was. Um, let's play one more. And then I'm going to probably record the T49 video after this. And, um, you know, uh, I've been playing a lot of World of Tanks. So after the T49 video, we're definitely going to get off for the day, guys. I mean, I've been on since, uh, you know, it's... it's 3.45 now in the afternoon. I've been on since probably 11.30. So, you know, it's definitely time to get off. All right, guys. So normally on this map, what I would like to do is go over to where the heavies go. I like going over here. Um, to the, we'll just call it A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 area. And, um, you know, usually I have a good game from there. The problem is this tank is so slow. And because of it, because it's a turretless TD, I instead, what I want to do is play this like an actual TD. And then I can position accordingly from there. But what I'm going to do is actually start here. Um, probably where this scorpion is going, and see if we can get some nice shots off the back, guys. I'm going to pre-aim right here. Just missed the batch at 12T. No surprise that the ELC went down. I think it's a stupid play to try and rush that all the time, guys. I never like trying to make that play. We're going to sit right here and kind of wait for this batch at because he might try to poke up here or something. 
And it looks like our entire team is camping, guys. So I'm kind of glad we didn't run out there. Skoda's here. There we go. Get a nice shot into the Skoda. And we're just sitting here waiting for shots, guys. I mean, it's too risky to try and go out there with this tank. If you have more cover, then yeah, you can go with the heavies. Um, you know, but there's just this map is so wide open, guys, that it's just too easy for people to get shots on us from where we are. Um, or would be, I should say, if we went down this way with, like, the VK and such, so... Trying to get this guy to come back. <laughs> Hopefully we can get one of these guys' sides. Fortunately, we didn't pen the Renegade. Looks like we did get a tracking shot into him, though. And, um... Scorpion G also came around the corner. Scorpion G is dead. I loaded gold for the E75 and... the Renegade, too, honestly. Okay, so what I want to do here, guys, is I want to get a little bit more involved because we have a big gun and we don't want to be sitting this far back at this point. So we're going to pull up where the ISU is and just look at the mobility of this tank, guys. This is what I mean. I mean, we get the spotting damage there, but, you know, this is why you just can't make plays in this tank, guys. It's just brutally slow and, you know, it's just very difficult to, to get anywhere effectively when you're this slow so we kind of poke up here and this gives us shots a little farther back as well gives us a much cleaner shot on the renegade in fact i don't even think we would have had a shot back where we were unless he came like all the way back to here let's hope the bat chat comes this direction okay bat chat's dead If the Scorpion goes around this corner, it'll probably, if he doesn't kill the Renegade, he'll probably push the Renegade back this direction, is what I'm thinking, so. Yep, here comes the Renegade, and the Renegade is dead. And I'm going to go back to regular ammo, guys, because we shot a few APCRs.
And I think from here we're going to leave this area, guys, and we're going to start making our way to the mid. Try and get some speed coming off of here. We're spotted. But it's okay. Artie's probably going to try and take a shot at us. Got 136 spotting from the Skoda. We're going to repair immediately because I want to get there as, as soon as possible. And poking on ridges, guys, is not what you want to be doing in this tank, by the way. We're looking for some extra damage, so this is what we're going to have to do. But when you poke on ridges and you kind of start angling downwards, it's very easy for people to pen your lower plate and stuff like that. So I don't recommend poking on ridges, you know. This tank is, uh, is not very good at doing that. But, you know, kind of like pushing yourself around corners and taking a shot, that it can do. It can do very well. Waiting for Artie to fire at us. Get a nice shot to the 704. 704 is in major trouble, guys. And he is dead. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is actually, I'm not going to, because by the time I go down this little hill here and go all the way up, the game's going to be over. So instead, we're going to poke up here, try and get the best angle we can on the STRV and Scorpion, and possibly Arta. And that'll probably be the game. I'm hoping that the scorpion will poke right here. Where's Artie? Artie's out of my range. Scorpion is probably sitting right behind this rock, because that's where I would be. Oh, he's over here. I just saw a tree knock down, and he's trying to make his final stand. Completely understandable. Come on, keep coming. So they should be able to clean this guy up, and that's the game, guys. Four kills, 32-35 damage, 558 assist. Definitely better than our second game. Um, and I think we'll leave it at this, guys. You know, three games. Occasionally I'll play a fourth, but... You know, I think we had three great games here. Um, well, two great games and one decent game. <laughs> you know, uh, I would say it was decent at best. But, um, you know, sometimes, guys, you know, things are just looking really shitty in a tank like this because you have no mobility. Um, we are top by damage, top by experience, it looks like. And um, that's it, guys. So we didn't make much coin, obviously. But I'm not really worried about that on this account. And here we are, guys. So after three battles, we averaged 3,315 damage. I would say that's a little above average for me. But, um, you know, I, I am fairly good in this tank. 223 assist. So that is giving us approximately 3,500 or so combined, guys. 
and uh, not a bad session with the T95. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one in the T95. Again, this is my favorite tank of all time, so I really encourage you to check out stuff about it. Um, you know, on YouTube in real life, it, you know, if you're if you're interested in tanks at all, you're gonna love seeing this thing. They show you the inside of the tank, and um, they do like a walk around, and they tell you all about it. It's really cool. It's really interesting. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one in the T95, and I will see you for the next video. Take care. Bye bye.